As, a, as an offensive lineman, I want you to explain this to me. Dallas could not run the ball against the Chargers at all on Thanksgiving yep. night. So how do they do that? How do they have a night where Alfred Morris goes for over 125? Well, listen, sometimes as an office, office alignment, your, your pride is challenged. You get called out. I don't, you know, internally, that's probably happened. But what you saw from the Dallas Cowboys tonight, they literally imposed their will on the Washington Redskins, you know, up front. Now, the Washington Redskins helped them out with all the turnovers, but in the end, it was the Dallas Cowboys office alignment, to me, that was the MVP of, the, of tonight's game. Because Dak didn't have the best of nights. He Threw for two touchdowns, mm -hmm. but he was really pedestrian as far as yards, but it was the 42, 42 rushing attempts by the Dallas Cowboys. That was the difference in this game. Obviously, C Cowboys fans will say, well, you know, we've missed Ezekiel Elliott. There's been all that turmoil all year. But to be able to dominate a game as they did in this game, and we haven't seen it at other times this year, why is that the case? Some, again, sometimes when it's as far as pride, sometimes it's as far as scheme. Again, you know, sometimes it's the team that you're playing. Uh, for some reason tonight, they were out. They were able to go out there against the Washington Redskins up front and dominate the battles one-on-one uh, -on -one up front in the offensive line. They're going to need to continue to do that um, because, they, you know, obviously they're not going to have Zeke Elliott uh, for a couple more games, I believe. So if they're going to stay in this wild card hunt, they're going to have to rely on the big boys up front to help, you know, help shoulder the load from Dak.